So we've got the face that we're going to stitch onto the new pieces of piece of felt, and here is what the uh, the mouth and the nose looks like on the llama. So I'm going to set the llama aside, and I have a needle and six strand uh, black embroidery floss, and I just tied a little knot at the end. Um, it'll go on the back of the felt, and you'll never see it. And I'm going to start at one end of the mouth and bring my needle up right where the marking is that we just transferred onto the felt and pull it through. And I'm gonna take another stitch, maybe an eighth of an inch down on the line. Pull it through. And then I'm going to come up about the same distance again down um, on the, the marked line and pull it up. And then I'm gonna go back down exactly where we went down earlier in the first stitch. And then that gives us a smooth black line the whole way. So now I will come up here, just like we did in the first stitch. Pull it through, follow the line and go back down. And then I'll come back up a little further down the stitch lines. Back down. And I will just continue along all of these marked lines until the face is done. here um, I'm gonna need to go down and stitch this bottom part of the mouth but I don't want to take my thread down since it's black it might show through the white uh, felt so what I'm gonna do is flip it over and I'm just gonna send my thread through these stitches that I've made and then that way it'll follow the stitch line that's already there so you won't see it through the felt when um, the llama is sewn and so now I can see where I'm back down to the bottom of the mouth. So I will bring my needle back up here and stitch this final portion of the mouth. tie a knot on the back and it's all set for sewing onto the llama.